Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about the new Kingston Smart City project. Now this is a project to to use technology to help build out New Kingston. And New Kingston is the business hub of Jamaica. It's a very important um, city in Jamaica. It, it's one of the busiest places in Kingston outside of Halfway Tree and Downtown. So we're going to go through an article that gives more information on the plans for the smart city in New Kingston. Minister Without Portfolio in the Office of the Prime Minister, Senator the Doctor Honorable Dana Morris Dixon, has hailed the New Kingston Smart City Project as a testament to innovation and a beacon of hope and progress for the entire nation. The New Kingston Smart City Demonstration Project embodies a spirit of collaboration and harnessing technology to bring about genuine transformation, she said. Dr. Morris Dixon, who has oversight for skills and digital transformation, was addressing a smart city forum hosted by the Jamaica Public Service Company at the Jamaica Pegasus Hotel in New Kingston. The forum held in collaboration with US-based project development firm Tutor Group was designed to highlight the benefits of a smart city, which is about using technology to drive efficiency in a sustainable way while enhancing the quality of life of its citizens. This includes improved safety, public Wi-Fi, traffic management, urban planning, and environment, so environment monitors, among other benefits. The event also gave an overview of the feasibility study for the JPS Smart City demonstration project for New Kingston. The utility company has been awarded a grant by the United States Trade and Development Agency for technical assistance to identify and deploy cutting edge technology and energy solutions in the business district and develop a roadmap for broader implementation of smart cities throughout the country. JPS is promising to redefine urban living in New Kingston through smart city solutions, such as a smart grid, intelligent transportation, and improved potable water supply, safety and security, solid waste, public health, and environmental services. President and Chief Executive Officer, JPS, Steve Bur Burbridge, said the company has been investing in, New King in the New Kingston space with the rollout of smart meters and smart LED streetlights, among other solutions. Dr. Morris Dixon, in her address, noted that technology is playing a pivotal role in, redef in re refining the urban landscape, making these areas more resilient, efficient, and people-friendly. She is urging citizens as Jamaica strides into the digital era to embrace technology, innovations, and adapt them to meet their unique circumstances and challenges. She noted that the government in its digital transformation thrust is not only about fostering new skills and digital literacy, but reshaping Jamaica for a new era where technology empowers our communities, businesses, and institutions. The Minister of Energy, Science, Telecommunications and Transport, Honorable Darren Vaz, in his remarks, noted that the concept of a smart city centers around creating spaces that are efficient, inclusive and sustainable for every citizen. All right, guys, so let us know what you think. I think this is an excellent idea. This is what Jamaica needs to move towards being more to move closer towards being a first world country you can't do it without technology and the technology exists look at um, the new ticket system as an example that technology has been around for decades and jamaica has started to use it and it has made such a difference when you 
you can uh, when somebody gets a ticket everything is processed digitally automatically right through to the tax office the police can't stop somebody they don't even need a driver's license just put in a license plate number and the picture everything comes up that's just one example but the technology exists so it's good that they're starting with new kingston and we'll keep you guys updated on this project because this is what jamaica needs and jamaica is progressing nicely you have roads being built all over the place you have hotels going up you have bpos going up so this is just one step closer to this is just helping with the progress in jamaica all right guys let us know what you think about this project leave your comments in the section below and we'll keep you guys updated on this project all right guys have a good day